hello friends in this video we will talk about an alternative definition of asymptotic notations so before we go further let's summarize what we know so the first notation the first asymptotic notation is theta notation and if if f is equal to theta of g then we can say that growth rate growth rate of f as well as g are similar uh, if f is equal to big O of g then we can say that f grows no faster than g right and in other words z is asymptotic upper bound on f and similarly if f is equal to big omega of g then we can say that f grows at, at least as fast as g in other words g is asymptotic lower bound on f okay so now what we do we try to convert this definition this formal definitions in terms of limit so from this uh, if, 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 if we focus on this particular ratio f of n upon g of n then from this definition it's it's clear that if f of n upon g of n is some constant term then we can say that that f is nothing but theta of g so that particular thing is corresponding to very first definition of theta in terms of limit but the main thing here is if you can notice then the symbol is implication not double implication that means this is not if and only if condition there may be some function for which this limit does not exist but still f of n is equal to theta of g of n so therefore um, we can't generalize this but we can check this like uh, for example uh, let, let me take one example then it will become more clear so let's say my function f is this y n square plus 6 n plus 7 and let's say g of n is equal to n square okay and now I want to apply the very first definition of limit so the idea is let me find out what is f of n upon g of n so in this particular case it's phi n square plus 6 n plus 7 upon n square if i simplify this further then i will get this phi upon 6 by n plus 7 by n square and now if i apply limit and again why I am considering limit n tends to infinity because as per our assumption we are interested in very large values of n right so if we do this then the answer will be 5 right so what is the meaning of this the growth rate of uh, f of n is approximately five times as compared to g of n and since this is a constant term if uh, what we can do if, if I take g of n upon f of n then also I will get uh, uh, the constant term so 1 by 5 so therefore we can say that f, f is nothing but theta of g in this particular case phi n square so the conclusion is from this because we are getting the, this particular constant term which is not 0 or infinity we can say that f of n belongs to or equal to theta of n square okay now intuitively uh, we can also see why why the second and third definition is also true because if g of n is dominating term as compared to f of n then our limit will be zero and at that time we can say that f is nothing but big o of g of n so that is all about this particular second definition and third definition again if f of n is a dominating term is compared to g of n then f limit n tends to infinity f of n upon g of n will be infinity right so at that time we can say that f is at least g right so that is the idea of this three definitions so so let me take one more example so now let's say my function my function is let's say n square and i want to show i want to compare this function with let's say g of n which is nothing but n cube and again i will use this particular definition limit n tends to infinity f of n upon g of n which is nothing but this so which is nothing but limit n tends to infinity 
so here if we simplify this then we will get limit n tends to infinity 1 upon n and after further simplification we can say that the value of this particular limit is 0 so now if we compare this to function then we can say that definitely g of n is dominating as compared to f of n so we can write f of n is equal to big o of g of n which is nothing but f of n is equal to big o of n cube so now let me take one more example and now i am changing the rules of f of n and g of n here so instead of considering f of n is equal to n square let me take f of n is equal to n cube and g of n is equal to let's say n square and now again i will apply the same limit limit n tends to infinity f of n upon g of n and after simplification as you know we will get limit n tends to infinity and n cube upon n square which is nothing but limit n tends to infinity n so which is nothing but infinity right so we can say that f is dominating term in other words value of f is at least g of n so that we can write f of n is nothing but big omega of g of n so so far i have used the word definition but actually this is not the definition of asymptotic no notations the actual definition you already know which we have discussed previously here as you can see the implication is in just forward direction there is no double implication so i recommend you to first apply formal definition and if you are stuck then only you can use this trick of limits and the main idea here more often you will encounter that uh, this particular ratio of this type infinity upon infinity and then you can apply a hospital rule and solve this very quickly so that is the main idea of this video thank you subscribe to my channel for more videos Hello,